Logarithms are the opposite of exponential functions. Just write this down. 3 squared equals 9. Log 3, 9 equals 2. So what does the logarithm of 3 for 9 equal to 2 mean? 3 for 9. We're trying to find what power do we put 3 to? So what power do we put 3 to to get 9? The answer is 2. This number here is called the base. In indices, we have 6 to the power of 2. What is the number down the bottom called? A base. What else is called a base in another equation? So they are the same base. This is called the indice. Or the index. Or the power. Ah, oh, also write this next to the one. This is the index or the power. So those two bubbles are the ones you should copy down. So the general form is right here using algebra. So if we have a number a to the power x equal to y, then we can do the logarithm of y to the base a and that gives us the power x. But Two, what's the power and what's the answer? There you go. We're going to do the opposite now. So what's the base of this indice? What's the answer? And what's the power? Anyone? We have a thousand. And we want to convert it into 10 to a power. Because that's what our base is. So we have the same base here. So what power does 10 go to to get to a thousand? Three. So our answer for log 10. 1,000 is 3. All right, next one, we have 625. So the base is 5. So what power do we put 5 to to get 625? Times 5 is times 5, 625. So we have four. Sorry, we let's just let's just do the denominator. So what's denominator sixty-four equal to for four to the power of something? Four times four is times four. Four to the power of three equals sixty-four. So now, remember your indice laws, 1 over 64 is 1 over 4 to the power of 3. Or, it is equal to 4 to the negative 3. Okay? We did those last week. Now you see why I did that first, before the logs. So the answer is negative 3. So log 5 is approximately same setting out that I just showed you for these two. So we can write, see how it's base 2? 
So I'm going to write the base as 2, and I want to try and figure out what 32 to, is as 2 to the power of something. Okay? So let's try just writing it out. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is times 2 is so I've got 2 to the power of 5 is x that would be worth a mark and then writing 5 is equal to x is worth a mark so the final answer we know the base is what? 6 and we know the power is so x equals what? 6 times 6 is 36, and then 6 times 36 is 216, okay? So that's A, that's B.